Good morning and a blessed Good Friday to you. I'm Pastor Drew Ingram and I'm here at Spirit in the Hills Lutheran Church inviting you to come and experience our Stations of the Cross worship that's set up outdoors here on our property. And so I just wanted to give you a few updates on that and again offer that invitation. This is a worship service that's self-guided and it's outdoors and the stations are set up apart so that we can maintain our physical distance to welcome as many people as want or can come and participate. The ground is a little bit uneven, so if you're worried about uh, mobility, I do want you to take care and take caution. We also sent out a modified version of this for use at home. Uh, in our at-home worship kits for Holy Week. And we have another uh, version come th- of that same version, that at-home version will be coming via email later today. But anytime from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. today, we invite you to come and walk through these stations of the cross and to take time to pray and worship and enter in to that final day of Jesus and the passion story of the cross. It begins here in front of the office. So as you come in, you'll be directed to come up the driveway and find a spot here uh, near the garage, or at least to walk up this direction as our first station is then right over here. And so you'll come to the first station here near the blue bonnets and the trees in front of the office. And very important, first thing first, to grab a guide that will tell you where all of the stations are. In fact, it has a map here on the back that has them numbered to help guide you through. And it will also give you instructions at each station. So pick one of those up. And then here at the first station, it's an invitation to intercessory prayer. Uh, So for example, on the guide, it will direct you to read the scripture for station one, to grasp a marble in your hand, to think of somebody for whom uh, you know that they have a need, someone in need other than yourself. And then to offer them a prayer as you hold tight to this bead, to think of them, to pray for them, and then to drop it into the water and you continue up to the office porch for stations two and three and then over to our outdoor worship area where we have the remaining stations four five six at the cross seven and eight nine in the center and ten upon the altar table so come out Today, again, Good Friday, April 2nd, 2021, anytime between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. And enter into this time of prayer as we walk with Jesus through his final day. We remember and behold the life-giving cross on which was hung the Savior of the whole world. We'll also gather together for an online worship service with a full reading of the Passion Narrative as well as some invitation into reflection and deep prayer and confession this evening at 7.30 right here on Facebook and YouTube and on our website. I hope to see you today or I hope that you will come out and enter into this Good Friday story where we see the good news that Jesus knows the suffering, suffering that we cause to ourselves and to one another and enters into it in order to offer life to give his life that we may have life and have it abundantly. So although, as my daughter is fond of telling me, I don't like the part of the story where Jesus dies, where he's arrested and tried and crucified, there is good news in it because it is not the end of the story. And God takes this tool of violence and death and turns it into something that brings life abundant and everlasting for you and me and everyone. So have a blessed Good Friday.